singing right there. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, it's Jotna. So today we're going to do some New Year's Eve hacks and DIYs. You guys, can we take some time to talk about how 2016 went by so quick? I feel like it was just yesterday that I was celebrating last year's New Year's Eve. So it's just crazy that it's like this New Year's Eve is like only a few days away. I have like a fear kind of of like time going by and just like I don't know, I just felt like this year went by so quick, just like time keeps flying by and it's just like, it needs to slow down, you know, like 2016 kind of like ditched us. But yeah, I mean, what can we do? 2017's here, we gotta celebrate it with positivity. By the way, um, yeah, Scooby just wants to make an appearance because you guys have been asking like, where's Scooby and show Scooby more, so yeah, he says hi. So yeah, you guys, let's move on with the video. Here are some hacks and DIYs for the New Year's, I hope you enjoy it, let's go. So first, we're going to start off with a DIY, how to make confetti poppers, which are a ton of fun for all ages and it's super easy to make. So you're going to need some balloons. What you're going to do is cut the bottom of the balloon, stretch the balloon tightly around the toilet paper tube, then not the tip of the balloon. This is the part where you decorate, use pattern paper, stickers, leftover Christmas wrapping paper, whatever you want to decorate. Add the confetti to the tube. To launch the confetti, pull down on the bottom knot of the balloon and let go. The confetti will shoot up high into the air with a loud pop and it's just super cool. As you can see, I did it like a million times because I got addicted to it because it's just really fun and I don't know, it was just kind of addicting. Next, here's how you can accomplish your New Year's resolution this year. A great hack is to write them down. According to a study, those who wrote down their goals accomplished more than those who did not write down their goals. So therefore, buy a nice journal or notebook and start writing down your goals for the new year. Next, here's a DIY plus tip. Keep yourself on track in the new year by using a rotating goal list. It's a lot more visual than a regular to-do list in a notebook, making it more fun for you to accomplish your tasks and you can mark when to accomplish your goals by, whether it be this week or month. As my little good luck present to you guys, you can download this exact goal list I made for you. The download link is in my description box, so definitely go check that out. Print it and hang it by your desk and you'll feel more motivated in no time. This prank is amazingly easy and it's a lot of fun for the New Year countdown. And it's hilarious when there's a large group of people. All you'll need is a bag of confetti. Find a room with a ceiling fan, preferably the living room or the room where everyone is celebrating. Place the confetti on top of the fan blades while they're still and don't fall in the process like I did. I'm just really clumsy. While the countdown is happening, flip the switch and the guests will have a very nice surprise to say the least. Hey, it'll definitely be the highlight of the night. So let's say that you had it quite the night, you know you drank a little bit here and there, and now you're not feeling well. Here's a quick hack to cure that hangover. Try a warm mug of ginger tea to settle things down. Ginger has actually been shown to help nausea. So just in case if it happens, now you know. Next DIY, here's how to make a last minute crown for that New Year's Eve party. I'm using a roll from leftover gift wrap I no longer need. Cut it at about four inches. Then cut it so that it has a jagged edge like a crown. Next, I covered it in black acrylic paint but gold and silver would look great as well if not better. I glued little sticker embellishments to decorate it. Feel free to decorate however you'd like. and this is how it turned out. So magical and it's so easy. You're ready to rock it and it literally took me like three minutes to make. Here's another hack. Skip the fizzy alcoholic drinks to prevent a hangover. This is because the carbon dioxide that makes the drinks fizzy actually speeds up the absorption of alcohol. So take it easy with the champagne. Next DIY, quick and easy to do, how to make a New Year's countdown cupcake topper. It's really festive and it adds a cute touch to your desserts. You'll need a white piece of paper, cut it into a circle, make multiple depending on the amount of cupcakes you're serving, then draw a thick dot in the center and draw two clock arms.
To make it look pretty, add an embellishment sticker in the center covering the dot. And lastly, position a toothpick to the back of the cutout circle and add a strip of tape and you are done. Here's another good luck tip to start the new year right. It's important to thoroughly clean your home or office several days before New Year's Day arrives. This will cleanse your space of all negative energy that accumulated during the past year, replacing it with positive energy. It's kind of like when you're cleaning before a guest arrives, making sure your home is clean, efficient, and organized. Next, here's a great hack if you'd like to rock that sharp cat eyeliner or glitter eyeliner for New Year's, but you just don't know how to do it. In my never seen before makeup hacks video, I show you step by step how to make an eyeliner stencil. I'm going to add the video link at the very top of my description box, so definitely go check that out if you'd like. So yeah, you guys, that was all for today. Please let me know which one was your favorite, if you have a favorite hack or if you have a favorite DIY. My favorite out of all of them has to be the goal list because like, I feel like that's a great way to start with your New Year's resolution. It's just like a great way to make sure that you're meeting your goals weekly and monthly and to make sure that you have your New Year's resolutions in check and that you're not just like leaving them behind, you know? So yeah, you guys, that was all for today. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you'd like, you can follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, whatever it is that you want. Um, so yeah, that was all for today. Thank you so 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 much for watching. I'm just gonna act like I'm not repeating myself I will see you guys in the next video. Bye